Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Davian Shipyards. Alright, so the crowbar. Let's talk about the crowbar. The crowbar is was originally meant to be a piracy frigate, but I misread the weight. It is not, uh, excuse me, a piracy corvette. Excuse me. Hey Sage. Meow. Hey, you cutie. Yeah. Sage. Meow. All right, so my cat is on my bed being adorable, rolling around, uh, making cat noises. Uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, the crowbar mint was meant to be a Corvette, a piracy Corvette. Uh, okay. I just started recording, and you're going to start meowing so much. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, uh, there we go. He's out in my room now. Uh, so where was I? Jesus, damn cat. Uh, it was meant to be a piracy Corvette, but as it turned out, it was overweight and undergunned, didn't have enough secondary armaments to stop meteors, and it just had too much stuff on it. Just too much stuff. I think I can do the same job for cheaper, faster, and honestly more more effective and more durable with what I've learned from real world uh, data gathered while I was actually fighting NPC ships with the crowbar. All right, so I'm going to give it a try. Be right back. Okay, so I'm starting from the rear of the ship and working my way forwards, and I'm paying much more attention to practicality this time around. So, at the rear, just like last time, we have a large grinding array capable of quickly grinding up enemy ships. And of course, I had to sneeze right then. Man, today's video, I, I got my cat, I got, I got sneezing, it's kind of cold here, even though I have the heat on. Uh, filming this in February, and it's it's been really cold. It's been uh, below freezing most days. I think I might be getting sniffly. My apologies. Alright, so there's the grinder array. Now this design here allows you to come in from the rear of the ship uh, if you're out in your spacesuit and hop in the cockpit and control the grinder right here. Uh, this is just because it's much easier to grind up an, uh, a ship if you can actually see from the point of view of the grinder array. Uh, so that's why I have this like this. And then I had to have the conveyor come down. And I'm still using conveyor blocks. I just don't like the conveyor tubes. I know the blocks are heavier, but that's... I mean, the weight is not enough of a difference, I don't think, to matter much to me. <clears throat> All right. So then I had to come in, uh, I left some space here, I'm marking it off with blocks, and then I came forward 10 blocks, uh, and for me, I'm always going to do 10 blocks for thruster distance, it's actually less than that, it's, uh, it's like the small thruster measured in small blocks is I think like 4 and then 6, and then the large thrusters for large blocks measuring distance is, uh, I think it's like 3 and then 7 but I'm just going to say 10 for safety precautions to make sure I'm clear. Uh, now, this world does not have thruster damage on, but obviously I designed my ships with thruster damage in mind. So uh, for my designs, I'm going to say either 10 large blocks or 10 small blocks. And uh, that's what I'll work with uh, when I design uh, thrusters that are pointed towards... Uh, a part a part of the ship, so I can come in here <clears throat> and put on the large thrusters uh, like so, and they are far enough away to actually wait a minute now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're still good. Uh, they still need to be. I want the nozzle to be right here on this line. I think it's actually seven for these. So I would measure from here, and then that's seven right there. So if I had a wall here. Uh, I believe that's safe, but that's I don't want to cut it that close. I want to have margins of safety built in. All right, so I'm going to work my way forwards, and I'm going to try to do the storage reactor and all the thrusters 
on the middle section of the ship. Okay, so we now have a thruster module and uh, an industrial and thruster module uh, that maintains a safe distance for the thrusters from the uh, grinder module while being uh, still all in line. I'm trying to keep the ship, let's see, the edge of the silhouette would be here. So we're still uh, one block within the silhouette on those large thrusters poking out. So I like that. I think that's cool. Uh, the industrial and thruster module has two large containers inside. Then it has arc furnaces, which are up there on either side. It's mirrored. So it has two arc furnaces and two assemblers and two cargo containers and then four small reactors. And I want to keep... Uh, I'd like to, if possible, try to keep the ship's power consumption down to four small reactors worth of power. Uh, and so we have side thrust, forward thrust, and uh, rear thrust here. We just need uh, top and bottom thrusters, but uh, those, I suspect, will be embedded into the ship's shell. Uh, and I'd also like it to have a way to link out and connect up to connectors. Uh, as far as that goes... Uh, I was thinking maybe coming off the second large container on this conveyor here and then have it coming out, but we'll see. Uh, so I'll leave development of the industrial module for now and we'll go out and work on the combat module, which also needs to be, I'm going to have it out 10 blocks, about right here or so, yeah. Actually, that might be a good reference. Let's just come out uh, 11 and then drag this out to about right here. Yeah, okay, that's about where we need to start for that. Uh, even though the small thrusters aren't anywhere near, uh, I just want to leave uh, a good margin of safety for that. All right, time for the combat module. All right, so the basic shape of the combat modules come together. Uh, you go down inside of it, and here is a backup cockpit, and then around it up in the front is the main cockpit, and you can see it has three auto cannons and then one rack. I found that I ended up using one rack at a time um, for sniping to pick off. Basically, to make one powerful, accurate shot that uh, picks off key components on the enemy ship. Uh, for general combat, though, I think I'd rather have these auto cannons. If I want to just destroy something, I think I'd rather use the auto cannons. Because uh, if the rack hits, I mean they're all they're all racks. They're all Ramsha Fabrik cannon. But when I say rack, I mean the 250, the big one. Um, the issue with that I found is it fires one big slow shot and if that hits something like that could hit like a piece of crumpled up light armor and it's going to destroy it but it, it stops right there so basically all my damage is focused on one component. Uh, whereas if I was firing say a three second burst of auto of the 50 millimeter auto cannon fire a few shots would kill that protruding bit of light armor and then the rest would continue onwards. Uh, I found that it's it's easy for the big shot to get stopped by something not really worth killing. Does that make sense? Uh, you guys following what I'm getting at here? Uh, so I think for general combat, I might actually would rather have the auto cannons if I just want to kill something. Uh... So I left this flat for cameras. Now it's all big and boxy because this is the, just the basic shape. I want to come back in and, oh, well, there's a camera there. Uh, I think what I might do is plaster the entire front and cameras to make sure that there's some that are functional because I don't want them 
because in all seriousness, they will get destroyed. Um, they're just too fragile to live that long. So I need to come in here. At this point, I need to come in and just start making it look not like a giant series of boxes stacked on boxes. Uh, I'm going to do all the, the angled armor and make it look neater. The Functionally, though, the ship is mostly done. I just need to wrap it up in armor and add on the extra bits like the remote control, the antenna. Uh, I've already put some gyros inside. I added a fifth reactor in the combat core to make sure that it won't lose power if there's a severage. And, and yeah, I'll just add some structural reinforcement. Going to try and err on the on the light side. I want this ship to be fast and maneuverable. Uh, so from the front, you can only see the combat module. Let me go down. Yeah, I think the rest of it is reasonably well protected behind the front heavy armor module. Now, inside here are quite a good number of welders. And they're all connected to the conveyor system. Let me show you here. We have... There's 26 welders inside here. So every bit of this ought to be uh, self-repairing. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so the all the the combat module is self-repairing, so when it's getting shot at by, for the most part, it's going to be 25 millimeter Gatling cannon fire. It'll just be welding itself up. Uh, looks like some top armor is exposed here. Yeah, see? Uh, there's there's one of the welders right there. Uh, but there's there's plenty more. There's 25 other welders embedded inside, inside and all around there. Uh, basically, the combat module is just thick slabs of heavy armor and conveyor belts and welders is all it's in here. And then the, uh, the cannon here for sniping and uh, and then the auto cannons for killing stuff. Let's see, let's do that. Here we go, that looks better, a bit better. All right, so I'm gonna go around and make it prettier. There we go, we've got some more angled bits installed that uh, I think gives it a nicer appearance. Makes it look less like a, you know, series of boxes. Uh, and it's also slightly thicker armor uh, up front. And then on the back of the combat module, I've also been uh, adding all the, the different shapes of armor to make it more angled. Uh, I've used light armor back here a bit more, just to save on weight, since it's the rear of the combat module. And I added a little secondary thruster uh, box right there. So we've got the, the ship's extending. The neck of the ship here is extending back here. Um, and we still need up and down thrust. And we still need to complete the structural frame. So I'll work on that a bit more. So last time I think the crowbar was slightly <laughs> undergunned. And if we're using a 250 to kill, uh, to snipe off vital parts of an enemy ship and disarm it, what if we just want to kill something, you know? And I was thinking, three, three autocannons, uh, it's a start, but let's not make the same mistake. It's a trivial amount of weight compared to the weight of the whole ship to just double that to six 50 millimeter autocannon arrays and uh, I think now our forward firepower ought to be that 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 should kill stuff that ought to kill stuff pretty good all right so the doors are in place there's more armor in place the uh, arresting pads on the bottom here are in place so that I can grab uh, a ship and uh, stop it from moving to grind it up. So hopefully just like come up on a ship, uh, combat module fires, disables the weapons, pull up beside it, arrest it with these pads here, uh, stop it from moving, let it go, pull up in front of it, and then back into it with these, uh, this grinding array here and finish it off. 
and then move on to the next NPC ship. Uh, ought to be pretty effective, I think. And we're done with everything. Uh, we've even got an antenna on it now. Uh, let's come in the back and just work our way forwards to show you what I've done so far. Uh, oh, go in there. Go in. There we go. Uh, there is gravity. So we've got the grinder cockpit back here. And I'm using the actual cockpits for, for durability. I go front. We do have some uh, catwalks in here to make it more pleasant to walk through. There's manual access to some reactors so that you can deposit uranium to start the ship up and get the uh, conveyor functions. Uh, it does have a medical bay and a remote control and a beacon. Uh, I wanted it symmetrical and the medical bay takes up one block and then a two by one and so I was like I can mirror that with other needed blocks so I put a remote control and a beacon uh, in a in the same uh, taking up the same blocks on the other side so it's still the space is still mirrored I think that's kinda cool personally uh, and then in here actually we wanted I wanted to come in here and do this right here and add another there we go okay so going forward here's some more doors leading out and then down here is the backup combat bridge and then the main combat bridge so it's a, got some uh, less frills on it I think than the first crowbar uh, it's more focused uh, I'd say from experience based on you know uh, what I've learned yeah every I own all of these all right um, we got the connectors armored up. Everything's armored up. The only thing left to do is just to uh, add Gatling cannons all along the top here. So that should be relatively simple. And then armor up the top. Suck at meteors. <laughs> okay, so I think this is a, a slight improvement in firepower over the original's weaponry, secondary weaponry. Uh, hopefully, I think I did a good job working them into like these smooth pod-like structures that protrude out of the the hull, uh, and they have clear lines of fire because they're they're elevated up a bit. And I like the I like the midsection here. It's got like the pod actually has two gatlings on it, and it protrudes out to give it a good line of fire down the side of the ship down here. If you're approaching from the bottom. So actually, from the bottom, it does have some coverage uh, from one side or the other. If you're a meteor inbound, uh, there is some stuff to shoot at you. It's not as much as you might find on the sides uh, or from the top, but I think we're doing pretty good. I think, I th yeah, I think we're doing pretty good here. All right, I think she's done. Uh, let's convert her into a ship now because she's been a station the whole time. And we'll see what she weighs in. And go ahead and turn my jetpack off. Now let's see. Uh, go ahead and info. Let's take ownership of all the blocks. Oh no, what's happening? Oh crap, stop shooting. Uh, GAT, control A, off. Hold on a sec. I need to go check out what they did over there. I'll be right back. Damn it. Uh, yeah, they put some... Yeah, they put they put some dents into a special project I'm working on over here. Uh, crap. I'll have to repair that, but I guess I'll, I'll work on that later. Uh, yeah, this is just something... I was trying a radical ship shape. Uh, heads up. Switching back and forth between... The, what is this? This is a heavy armor, this is heavy armor corner, and then light armor inverted corner, and making a pyramidal shape out of those. Uh, that is a complete pain in the butt to do. I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alrighty, we're getting very close to being ready to publish this thing, but before I do, I wouldn't mind testing it out a little bit. Uh, got some thrusters here. Well, she's got decent speed, and it looks like she's found something she wants to take a piece at, piece of. Uh, the wreckage of a crossbow class Corvette. Let me go ahead and give my guns an angle. Let them just blast away at all they want. So that's a lot of Gatling guns. Uh, and all I have to do is give a slight offset to uh, the front. And... Oh, it looks like they've killed whatever it was that they were excited to see. Tell you what, let's come in here. Where is my gravity generator? Uh, we can turn that down to about 0.3, I think, or maybe 0.25. There we go. And I'll probably turn that a little bit, a little bit down, a little bit. There doesn't need to be up so high. Uh, so I've been working on the getting the the hot bars configured for all the different cockpits. So, oh wow, uh, it needed to be that big, didn't it? Gravity generator is right in the middle of the ship. Field depth and width. Is that a little better? Yeah, it's better. There we go. Uh, but I was busy configuring all the hot bars. Uh, the combat backup bridge, it's, uh, uh, number one is your 50 millimeter auto cannons. Two is the, the rack. Three toggles on all the self-repairing welders. Four is the 250 millimeter above. Five is 250 below. Six is going to be, uh, the frontal middle camera. The next one's going to be the 50 millimeter, the camera for the 50 millimeter cannons. It's right in the middle of them. And then uh, that's it for that. And then eight toggles the Gatling turrets on and off. And then nine allows you to take direct control of the front Gatling turret if you just want to blast away with it at something. Uh, so that's what's on the combat bridge. Now the forward bridge is more for sniping, so it's got uh, sniping and piloting, so it's got all the cameras. Uh, it's got more cameras on it. It's actually got the, uh, let's see, it's got the 250 cameras, it's got the frontal camera, but it also has the right and left cameras, and also control for the Gatling turrets. So there's the right camera, there's the left camera. Uh, and something about that bugs me, and I think I know what it is. I think I want the right camera to be uh, on the right side. So where's the right camera? The right camera needs to be on the right and then the left camera needs to be over here on the left. So there's there's the right side and there's the left side and the uh, where they're positioned the cameras right there as you can see the connector is right under them so you you can use it to line up your connector. Uh, that's what I was going for there. Uh, so she's got a remote control, antenna, plenty of gyroscopes. The uh, let's see, let's try just moving, moving around here. Uh, plenty of gyroscopic power. I can turn around. Um, I think maybe it could use like two more somewhere. Uh, the only question is where to go about putting them. I think I know. I think I know where I could put the things. Is uh, right back here in the grinder area. There's plenty of room here for uh, more components to be installed. So I'll just stick them back here. Uh, and maybe one more. So that's three more gyroscopes aboard. Now the interesting thing about the combat. Uh, module up here is it does have a reactor embedded in it and it also has a few thrusters embedded in it here and there that means that if the combat module got broken off 
like if you just came in on the neck right here and you just sawed th uh, through this neck, uh, it's actually it can actually be a functional ship. It's got a there's a gyroscope in there somewhere. Uh, there's a reactor, and it's got all the thruster directions covered. So the combat thing, if it broke off, could just fly around as its own ship. Uh, so I think that's kind of cool. As could the industrial module. Again, if you chopped chopped the necks off, uh, this middle section has the reactors and gyroscopes and the thrusters. <laughs> it even has some weapons on it. So the middle section could just uh, fly around as its own ship. Uh, which makes me realize that I ought to put a cockpit in here. Uh, like a backup cockpit, maybe. Hmm in the industrial section. Uh, so where would be a good spot for a backup cockpit back here? Uh, actually, I'm kind of thinking... How about uh, just right here? Like that. So backup cockpits, you can come in here and just look up and hop in and you could fly the industrial section around. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. Okay. Well, that was easy. Maybe even can we put on a one of these? Can we put on one of those like that and give it some armor? So it's got some uh, forward armor here. You know what we could also do? I just realized. Check this out. Uh, we could come in and there's space here to do that. So you can actually put a catwalk up underneath it. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So the the industrial section can actually now fly around as its own ship if it got broken off. It's even got it's got weapons, it's got thrusters, and it's got a cockpit. Uh, so all the cameras are labeled. Let's test the weapons out and see just what kind of firepower we're working with here. Just stop here on this bridge. Uh, let's take control of the. Uh, 50 millimeter cannons, and let's break out these 50 millimeters. Now this is just some wreckage of the uh, after combat testing of the cr uh, crossbow class frigate. So let's see how it does against thrusters. So, was that five shots and smoking on one? Let's try a one second burst. One one thousand. So, a one second burst, got some, get some all smoking. Let's try a two second burst. One one thousand, two one thousand. Yeah. And let's see, what would a, by compar for comparison, what would the rack do? Knocks out one of them doesn't seem to be much splash damage. So if I just opened up with these... Uh, I think I'm shooting heavy armor. Yeah, that's heavy armor. So mix in a little bit of that. Oh, wait a minute! Hold on a second. I could have sworn I saw something. Did I see what I think I saw? I could have sworn I saw one of those armor sections snap back into shape. And I'm trying to remember if the crossbow has self-repairing welders aboard it. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Uh, let's switch over to the... what is this? I want the front camera. So frontal camera is more... is basically in the middle of all the weapons. So the crossbow class is a, uh, is a missile frigate. 
intended to just blow the crap out of other other ships. Uh, it has uh, lots of missiles, launchers mounted on the uh, sides, so it has a broadside attack, and the top of the ship is lined with uh, missile launcher missile turrets as well. Well, that's fun. Um, I'm kind of wondering if I want to paint this thing, TBH. And I'm not sure I want to paint it. I kind of like it in pure white. There's something about it I just I just kind of like. Uh, forward firepower looks like it can bore right through heavy armor. Uh, that's good. Although it's not really meant for combat, I think it could hold its own. I mean, it's got a crap load of Gatling turrets on top, and they can all start shooting at something, and it's got the 50 millimeters and a 250 millimeter. Uh, so it's not designed to go out and pick a fight with other enemy ships, but it's meant for uh, disabling them from very long range and then grinding them up. Uh, but you know what? Uh, traditional combat? Sure. Why not? I think it's I think it's a lot more capable than, uh, capable than the first crowbar, the crowbar one. So where's the sun? Let's take a nice picture of her and uh, make a blueprint. I think everything is uh, is done. I want to. I'd like a picture more of the the front in there. Eh, no. I guess this is okay. Uh, where would be a good angle to take a picture from? Kind of like I kind of like that. Let's see if we can position her better. Ah, I couldn't resist painting it. Uh, okay. And I also added some little decorative bits down here, make it look more like a actual crowbar. There's like little, the little prongs or I should say uh, tines. Tines is the word I'm looking for that the crowbar has on the end of it. Uh, it's down there. So there she is, crowbar 2. Uh, she weighs in in the frigate class, which is lighter than the first crowbar. Uh, first crowbar, too heavy, I think. Too heavy, not enough gun. This one's lighter, and it's got a lot more gun. Uh, so I think she's going to work out pretty well. All right, let's take a picture of her, and that'll wrap up this episode. Uh, control B. There we go. Uh, Frigate. Let's see. She's a destroyer. There's the first one. Eh, I mean, not bad. Well, kind of bad. I mean, neat looking. Looks neat, looks unique, but just meh. Uh, this one is is going to be more effective. Crowbar 2. Oh, before you go, one last thing. I didn't show off the auto repair, did I? Well, I copied and pasted the crowbar, and it's going to shoot itself with its own Gatling gun here. And the welders are activated on the front for this one. And I'm just going to blast away. Um, let's just try to kill one block here. Let's just focus on this one and try to kill it. Did I kill it? Is it dead? Uh, sure seems resilient. There. It, uh, it, okay, it's back up again. Die. It, die. Die. Uh-huh. Yep. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, I just killed a camera. <laughs> That's kind of funny. What about that window? Can I take that out? Ooh, I got it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, look at that, just 
welding itself right back up. All right, that's that's. So I think I might uh, make a modded version of this that features maybe one twin welder and then put a blueprint projector on the ship. Uh, that won't be in the base model, I don't think, because I, I didn't want to have the twin welder be put in the base model. But uh, that that might make it into like you know my personal version on my world. But that requires like slapping on two blocks, so I mean no big deal, you know whatever. I'm just gonna hold. I'm just gonna hold down like right here in the middle, and uh, see if I can break through. I mean, I the welders cannot outpace the damage these 50 millimeter auto cannons are putting off, but it definitely slows them down. So I'm just gonna focus here on the middle area and just blast in. They're fighting it. They're definitely making this take a lot longer than it otherwise would. Look at that. Just welding right back up into shape. I'll get in there. Alright. Ah, die, dang it! Die! Why did I build you so rugged? Alright, well, you get the idea. This thing is a lot more rugged than the first crowbar was uh, from frontal attack. That's a beautiful sight. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next video. Until then, as always, take it easy.